What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix. You are having the trouble with Dune Awakening game, network error P34 or P43H74, V94 or V94 on your 97 on your PC and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into step one by one. So the first step is all about we have to restart your PC and that's what you have to try. So if you're already in the PC, just do go over here in the start, click on this one and do a restart. Once the restart is done, you have to check with the game. Next one, within the game, you have to select beta or unselect beta server. So most probably when you try to launch the game, by default, it will be selected to the beta server. So try changing the beta server and you have to check. That's what you have to try. Next one is all about we need to select the region which means we have to select our country so to do this just go over here in the game just get into the game over here you can right click over here go to task manager and probably it might be running in the background so go for end the task and remove it so once it is successfully closed in the background we need to launch the game so i'm going to show it is not launching from here try launching it from the uh, game directory folder so just go over here right click and go to manage click on the browse local file <coughs> now from here you can launch the game even this helped many users so that's why i'm showing you just get into the game over here and try So guys, now we need to change the server. So what we need to do is just go over here in the server. Now from in the server, we can change the server. So just go over here, you have to select the country. So right now for me, the Asia is selected. So if you're from the Europe, you can select Europe or if you're on any other server, you can select the respective server. But keep in mind one thing. So uh, if you're having the issue with the servers, you have to change it as well. So you can just go back or you can change the region. So try changing the region. So right now I'm from Asia, so I have to select Asia and I have to confirm it and join the server. And also there is one more thing, as you can see, if you check in the steps of the video, you can also notice that we have one more step that left. You can also sometimes, you know, uh, try changing the servers as well. Not, not only the servers, but you can also change, you can change the region to North America. So just go back to the game. So just go over here. If you, you might be already in the Asia, but the fourth step is all about if you're already in the Asia, try changing the server into North America and you have to check any available servers and you can try launch the game and you have to check. That even help with some users so you can try this out as well. And apart from this, there is nothing you have to do within the game. These are some of the steps. So what I do is right now I'll exit the game. So let me just go back and close the game. 
After closing the game, I'm going to demonstrate you with some of the steps that can be done within the system itself. So we need to close the game first. Next one is all about if you install anything named Gigabyte C4 Speed app is already installed on a system. We have to uninstall it and also you have to turn on and off the VPN. So just go over here, search for the settings. And before that, one more thing that I need to do. The game is still running in the background. So let me go here in the task manager. Let me close the game from the background. So just end the game. Now once afterwards, you have to check with turning on and off the VPN. So you can just go to the settings over here, go to network. And from here, if you find if any VPN is connected, just turn on the VPN and you have to check. So if you're already connected to VPN, what I'm saying is you have to disconnect it. Then you have to check with the game, whether the issue is solved or not. Next one, try using different network, which means you have to use the mobile hotspot. So right now, as you can see, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi. So just use your mobile phone, both Android or iPhone, it's fine. Just create a hotspot and connect your mobile hotspot over here like this. So you have to connect to it and check with the game. After you successfully launch it to the game, you can just connect back or use continue Wi-Fi in order to continue the game as well. Also try using the Ethernet connection, not the thing that can also be done. And also make sure the date, time, time zone and region are correct. So just go over here search for the settings and you have to click on this one and right now from here we have to go to time and language go to date and time make sure the time zone is turned on and time automatically should be turned on and also it should be syncing the uh, time as well and also select the country according to geography so right now i have to select india because i'm from asia so similarly you have to select the country according to geography then you have to add it Next one is all about we need to perform a power cycle which means shut down a computer, unplug the power cable, then we have to turn off the Wi-Fi router and wait for a few seconds and restart the Wi-Fi and you have to check. Next one we need to run these commands. So the first one we have to run a few commands in the CMD. So what I'm going to do is let me search here for the CMD and I have to go for run as administrator and go for yes. Just paste it and press enter. Afterwards, move to the next one that is IP config release. Just go over here, paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go for IP config renew. Copy this and we have to paste it and press enter. Next one, NTCH windsock. Just go over here, paste it and press enter. Last and the least step, we need to go for IP reset and go over here and paste it and press enter. Afterwards, we have to check with the game. Next one is we need to allow the game to antivirus so it is already added. If I check over here as you can see it is already added. So just go over here search for the control panel and you have to click on the control panel. Now go to system and security, windows defender firewall, allow napout feature through windows defender firewall. Now I have already added dune over here so make sure whether you have put a check on both the boxes private and public. Afterwards you are fine with it or you can just go over here search for the settings or navigate to privacy and security go for windows security over here click on virus and threat protection and this might not add it anything so just click over here click on manage settings just go over here and if you have add or remove extensions you can just go over here add the game just go to the file now from here navigate to this pc go to localist e steam library steam apps common dune awakening select this one and go for open and you need to add it. Once the Dune is successfully added, if you check, you are fine with it and you have to check with the game. Afterwards, the last and the least step, we need to try changing the DNS server, whether you have to go for 888 or 844. So just go over here, search for the control panel and you have to click on the control panel, network and sharing center. Now from here, you have to go to change adapter settings, right click over here, go to the properties, Go to the Internet Portable version over here, go to Properties, not this one. Right click, right click over here. And we have to go to US following DNS server. So the first one, 8888 and go for 8, 8, 4 and 4 and go for OK. Once you've given this particular value, you have to check with the game. 
last and the least step we need to verify the game file so just go over here right click and go to the properties now from here you have to click on the verify game file and you have to check most probably that's going to help in some cases as well so you can check with the game whether the issue is solved so these are some of the steps you can verify the game file so why verifying is important because it is going to cross check every single files of a game and whether if any files are corrupted and if any files are gone through any kind of issue those will be fixed by this so that's why it is so important so these are the steps and i hope this video is helpful that's it bye bye